Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is minimum sum of absolute difference of pairs, right? So we'll be understanding the problem statement first, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part. So uh, with that note, let's get started with the problem statement. But guys, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now. I believe the channel will be helpful for you, right? And it will motivate me to create more such content for you. So make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon too. And do join our Telegram community. The link for the Telegram channel is there in the description. So with that note, let's get started. The problem says, you are given two arrays A and B of equal length in. Your task is to pair each element of array A to an element in array B such that the sum of absolute differences of all the pairs is minimum, right? So what does this actually mean? Let's understand with the help of an example. So the first example that we do have, so here n equal to 4. So first of all, this is clear that both the arrays A and B, they are of equal length, right? So they both will be having same elements, same number of elements, same number of elements, not the same element, okay? So this is having, the array A is having 4, 1, 8, 7 and B is having 2, 3, 6, 5. So for this, the output is 6. So what we have to do is, we have to pair each element of array A to an element in array B. So one element should be from array A and another one from array B. We have to pair uh, this such that the sum of the absolute differences of all the pairs that are formed is minimum. So here you will see the sum that we are getting is 6. So let's let's see that how they have paired. So if we take the pairing cell, so you took one from here, right, and two from here. So this is our first pair. Then uh, you took four from here and three from here. So this is our second pair. Then you took seven from here and five from here, third pair. Then the last pair is going to be eight and six, right? Now, what is the absolute difference of these four pairs that we have? So uh, absolute difference we have to take, right? So 1 minus 2, that would be 1, plus 4 minus 3, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, plus from here you will get 2, so 2 plus 2, 4, and from here also 2, so 6, right? So it can be shown that this is the minimum sum that we can get, okay? Now let's have a look on the second example too. So here, uh, what they have done? So they have taken 1 and 1, this is the first pair, then 2 and 2, this is the second pair, and 4 and 4. This is the third pair. Right? So these are the three pairs that they have taken. And now if you are taking absolute difference for these three pairs, so you will be getting 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0. So the output is 0. Right? So that's what it is. Now one thing to observe here is that uh, what they have done. Can you can you see it? Like it's, so it's very easy to find it out what they have done when forming these pairs or uh, what they have done. So Basically, if we do like this, like you are sorting this array A and sorting this array B, we have to make sure to make the sum minimum, right? So how you can make sure that the sum between two elements is minimum when the distance and the gap between the pairs that we are taking, between the two elements that we are taking to form a pair is less, right? So how we can assure this thing? We can assure this thing if we are sorting. Right, so if you sort this array A, so on sorting, what would be your array? 1, 4, 8, 7. And if you will sort this array B, so you will be having 2, 3, 5, 6. Now, the distance or the gap between 1 and 2 is small, right? Similarly, the gap between, from here, if you 4 and 4 and 3, just 1, right? Then the gap between 8 and 6, that's 2. And 7 and 5 also, that's 2. So what we can do is, see now I think most of you must be clear with the logic part. The problem is, uh, yeah, for sure that is easy. So with the logic part, what we can do is sort the array A and sort the array B. And then take the absolute differences of the pairs that we have done. Right, so just sum them up the uh, of absolute differences of the pairs from this, these two arrays, right. So how are we going to solve this? I believe that till now most of you must be clear with the logic. So you'll be able to write it by yourself. So before uh, having a look on the solution, pause the video, I would say, write it by yourself, right? Because the, this is easy, right? So, so 
that the logic is clear so you'll be able to implement but still let's have a look on the code part two so that's that's the code is that's it so we are sorting the array a and sorting the array b, b right then uh, this is for some summation purpose we have to take the absolute difference so we are taking the ith element from array a let's say array a is one two three four array b is um one two three four let this this same elements they both have or let me take here okay so on sorting this is this is what we got for array a and array b now simply for ith element so this is a zero position this is a zero position we are taking the absolute difference of these two elements so one and two we are going to consider for the first pair and we are simply adding this to sum then we are taking this two and two taking the absolute difference adding this to sum then three and three then four and four and the value of the sum we are returning at the end right so that's it that's it from my side i hope the code part the logic the problem statement everything is clear for you so i have provided the code in the description in case you want to refer it thank you so much everyone for watching don't forget to share and subscribe my channel bye bye